cold turkey. You've perhaps heard someone say that they have quit something cold turkey. In other words, quit something suddenly and abruptly. I quit smoking cold turkey, your uncle might have told you after he recovered from a heart attack. Your friend might be trying to eat healthy and you opine, you can't just give up sugary foods cold turkey, you'll get so many cravings and you'll fail. I was wasting too much time on social media, so I just gave it up cold turkey. Your friend might be telling you her success story of time management. As you can tell, going cold turkey means to give up something without any preparation, to quit overnight and not gradually. It takes a tremendous amount of willpower to stop doing something cold turkey. And though it works for many people, it may not work for you. More likely, if you want to end a bad habit, you'll need to do it gradually and over time. If for example, you are used to putting four tablespoons of sugar into your coffee and you want to reduce your sugar intake. You should start by adding only three and a half tablespoons. You will adjust to this easily and if you continue to reduce the amount of sugar weekly, you'll soon find that you still enjoy your coffee with very little sugar. Doing something gradually is the opposite of going cold turkey and is definitely the better way to succeed. Quitting something cold turkey often doesn't work because when your body or mind is used to a certain type of stimulation and the way it makes you feel, you will experience noticeable withdrawal symptoms as soon as your body or mind is deprived of that stimulation. One physical withdrawal symptom that you might experience is goosebumps and cold, clammy skin. Which is one theory for where the idiom cold turkey comes from. Goosebumps and cold, clammy skin certainly feels like the skin of leftover turkey stored in the fridge. Another theory for the origin of the idiom comes from a story in a British satirical magazine, Judy, dated January 3rd, 1877. In this story, a Mr. Humes stays with his cousin Clara and her family for Christmas holidays. Instead of roasted and dressed turkey, he is served cold turkey, and this goes on for several days. At the end of the stay, Mr. Humes is angry and calls his lawyer in order to cut Clara out of his will as revenge for being treated so badly. Mr. Humes has given Clara the cold turkey treatment and this phrase soon becomes popular in the English-speaking world. You've been drinking coffee every morning since forever. You can't just give it up cold turkey, you might say to your mom who decides to only drink tea. 
Your friend might be asking you questions about going vegan. So, how did it feel after you gave up eating meat, cold turkey? It's not advisable to quit online games, cold turkey. You need to gradually reduce time spent. An addictions counselor might be telling your little brother. So, when you quit or end a habit or routine suddenly, just know that if going cold turkey doesn't work, you can always try again, but do it gradually.